Aha! Sieging, are you? We'll see how that goes. Uh, actually, why don't you guys just... Why don't you guys just combine and get... Oh, well, you're almost there now. Right. March! We march to Paris, men. My liege. Blessings upon you and your house. Aha! I've discovered a plot where King Sylvester II of Sicily seeks to fabricate a claim on the county of Foggia. Do you now? Where is Foggia? It's down here, right? Uh... You already have... Yeah, you have this, 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 and you want Foggia, which is right here. You ain't getting it, bub. You have two choices here, man. You can end the plot like a gentleman. Grant him his independence. <laughs> that would save me a pain in the ass, but... He says no. Or you can rot in prison. Ooh, only a 13% chance of success. He may declare war on us if we fail. Uh... Hmm. Why is Frank de Hauteville your heir? Who the hell is this guy? Who is this guy? He's a nobody. And he's the heir to the Kingdom of Sicily. Why? Hmm. Yeah, he has... Hmm. I don't like this guy. I gave him the County of Lausitz way back when I invited him to my court. I think this was Popo that did this, actually. Uh, then I pressed his claim on Sicily, gave him the kingdom of Sicily. Over time, he has revoked from his vassals the counties of Reggio, Trapani, and Malta. And now he's trying to fabricate a claim on freaking Foggia, which isn't even in his de jure territory, I don't think. Well, no, it can't be, because if it was de jure, he'd have a claim on it already. Um, bastard. Alright, I'm going to try to imprison him. Guards failed to capture Sylvester II, who has now raised his flag in rebellion. Two arms! Okay, I kind of thought that was going to happen. Shit. Well. Should be able to kick his teeth in pretty easily. Uh, you guys are on the move. That's good. Let's get to the military side of things and raise everybody else. I don't think we really need that many, but how about we just take you dudes and meet here, and you dudes can all go home. And you dudes can go home. No, 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 not the 14,000. Just, just those. Right? Everybody else is on the march then? wonder if you'll be able to get away before he marches up there to get you. Probably not. You probably are doomed. Sorry, Tyrrell. Okay. Two wars now we got going on. Victory in the Battle of Paris. Now we siege. Shouldn't take much time. What the hell? What what's going on here? Duxietmar of Luxembourg. Pick an ambition. My wife died? Oh no, Vera died. She was only forty eight. How did she die? Period of illness, huh? Aww. Theatmar of luck. God 
Damn it, people, come on. Everybody just relax. Okay, I gotta take care of Thietmar of Luxembourg, who's trying to fabricate a claim on Middle Francia. You can bite me too. Uh, Alright, I gotta get rewed. We are picking strictly for skills now. We don't necessarily want to have kids, we just want the skills. Uh, preferably someone with high skills across the board. Nobody really has high skills across the board. Hmm. Hard to find a good match, you know? This is pretty good. Malusha. She's Russian. Um, 16 stewardship. 10, 9, 9, 7. Ah. Okay, keep Malusha in mind. 17, 10, and 12. Uh, 2, oh god, that's terrible. 2 and 5 there. Yeah. Eugenia, but she's or older. That actually, that might work out. I think I actually might go with Eugenia. Despite the crappy intrigue. Well, these are actually pretty good traits, too. Salomea. She's a genius, even. 5, 15, 20, 5, and 11. Where was it? Was it Eugenia? Yeah. 5, 10, 17, 2, 12. Oh, yeah. That's better. Salomea? Like to get married to the Kaiser? Okay, let's try it. Uh oh, right. Pick an ambition. Quick, 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 I want to get married. <laughs> I'm going to cancel for a second. I gain 10 piety if I succeed. Good. Okay. Uh, and then. Okay, oh god. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Call in allies on all wars, you're going to say no. And call in allies on all wars, you're going to say no. Call in other allies? Okay, so, Thietmar of Luxembourg is trying to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of Middle Francia. I'm going to kick his ass. Hang on a second, bud. Will you end the plot first? I can't even ask you to end the plot. Oh, currently considering another offer. What other offer is he... Huh? He has a known plot. Oh. Oh, he, I already asked him to end the plot. Okay, is he going to end it? He is... Okay, you can't join our wars at this time. So are you ending the plot? You're not ending the plot, are you? You're one of my commanders, too. I trusted you. Ugh. Dangerous factions. Uh oh. You live in harmony and contentment. I suggest your. Uh, I accept your suggestion that Kaiser Norbert and Salomea get married. Goody. We are wed. Yay. Well, that's good. Want to be happy and all that. Prince Dietrich, my son, is now 25 years old. Princess Maria, the Queen of Bulgaria. 21, and my youngest daughter, Constanza, is 3. I would be totally happy not having other children, Salomea. Uh, if that means you want to get a little something on the side because you're bored, that's totally fine by me. Right. 
So, resolving this damn Fiatmar business. So I asked him to end the plot, he didn't respond. Oh, he must have ended the plot. I just didn't get a notice about it. Okay. Because now, uh, since when is my domain too big? What in the hell is going on? <laughs> Things are changing here without me realizing it. Why is my domain too big now? I have Nancy Vaudemont. Oh, it's too big because my stewardship isn't as good now. Frickin' hell. Oh, man. There's nobody better than Peter, is there? No. Shit. <laughs> what kind of penalty does that give me? Vassals will grow resentful, and I'll take penalties. <sighs> well, you know what? I did create Kusi so that I could give it away. I intentionally not uh, improved it too much. In, with that being, you know, in the thought in the back of my head. So, I could create a new vassal. I have 36 of 38, so I won't go over any limits. I could take somebody in my court that likes me a decent amount. Oh, Dietrich. I can give it to Dietrich. Right. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Goody. Keeps it in the family. When I die, if if he inherits, of course, uh, then he gets it. So Thietmar must have ended his plot. That's good. Kaiser Norbert of the Holderman Empire fulfilled the ambition to get married. Very good. Ten piety. That that leaves me. Now wait. Oh my God. Six of seven. I didn't have to give Kusi to my son. I could have kept it. The domain size had not updated since I would married my wife. It was still from. It was still seven of six from when I was single. F fuck. God damn it. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that much because it was kind of a shit holding. And if all goes well, when I die, Dietrich will inherit everything anyway. But god damn it. Come on, game. Keep up with me in real time here. Making decisions because you're not speedy enough. Hmm. Whoa! What the hell? How'd this army sneak up here? Okay, well this is a sacrificial army right here. Totally being sacrificed so that this guy, these guys can get away. So how many troops am I marching down here, incidentally? Marching a total... I don't want the Battle of Meton. Eleven thousand. wonder if that'll be enough. Defeat. Get out of there, man. Get out of there, quick. Gadzooks. Go, man, go. You're not going to freaking make it. Whew, you just made it. Oh, okay. Count Sigmund of Troop. What? What? Sigmund seeks to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Verona. End that, would you? I don't. I can't even ask you to. Damn. All right. Dangerous factions now, huh? Independence faction. Abondio the drunkard, the Duke of Tyrol, seeks to lead it. Members: King Marton the Scholar, of course. Duke Arnold of Verona. 
Carl of Modena, Anselm of Spoleto, Philippe of Olomouc. Hmm. Yeah, you only have that because I gave it to your dad, you dipshit. Duke of Austria. My spy master? Ah. Hmm. Lower Crown Authority faction doesn't have much strength. That's a good sign. Ooh, King Raymond of Aquitaine has called Earl something into war as an ally. Huh. I wonder if I shouldn't march these guys out and just relieve that siege down there. I'm gonna try it. Maybe a bit risky. But, oh, there's another siege. That's right. He's still got an army up there. Okay. Destroy them! Slay them! Charge of opportunity! Huzzah! Oh, wow, he completely wiped him out. That's awesome. Everybody meet up there. Victory in the Siege of Mio. Damn, where are they? How did he sneak those armies up? Must have used ships. Uh... Oh, I'm leading the center and I kind of suck. Hetmar, do you want to lead the center? I kind of... I'm terrible. Uh, right, okay. Why don't you pursue to... Or where is he going? No, he's going to Borge. What? How can he get there from... Is he in Orléans right now? My prisoner, El prisoner Elisa de Mille is complaining about her dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. Where did you come from? I thought I got rid of all my... When... Oh, in the Battle of Mille. Well, you haven't been in prison very long and you're already complaining. Uh, Alright, fine. Merciful. I'm only going to keep you in prison until the war is over anyway. Oh, this is his ally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do I want to do with this army now? I think I have to start sieging holdings in Aquitaine proper, don't I? Because that war score is not going to go up enough. I need to hold on to Mew. Okay. Meanwhile, this army is together. Um, siege there, I guess? Should I raise another army to clean these guys out? Probably. Um... These guys are everywhere. Okay. No, don't do that. March there. March there, actually. And you march there. I think that was everybody, right? That's everybody that I raised. Ugh, these multiple war things are complicated. Alright, how is this siege going to go? It's going to take a while, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to take a little while. Uh-oh. Title loss in succession. What the hell? 
Did he succeed in creating a claim? Thietmar of Luxembourg, what are you doing, you bastard? No. Why? What? Why is this a possible loss on succession? Hmm. Oh, is it because? Oh, yeah. There. Oh, 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 I see. Dietmar and Thietmar are voting for Thietmar. Okay. Hmm. That's right. The crown authority here is still low. Ooh, this is tricky. I can't switch to primogeniture. I have to convince Detmar to vote for me. Lower Lorraine. Where the hell is... I've, I've jacked up the duchies and the counties so much that I don't know where... I mean, I know Lower Lorraine is like around here. <clears throat> I don't know where the actual Duke of Lower Lorraine is anymore. Uh Shit. Here it is, right? Yeah, this is it. Ah, <sighs> Dietmar, Dietmar, Dietmar. Need you to vote for me, brother. <clears throat> Send a gift of 44 gold, sure. Send you that. I will also make you a noble and really sweeten the pot. Um, hmm. I'll make you my master of the horse. There you go. That should hopefully help you change your mind, huh? Maybe. Meanwhile, we're sieging here. It'll take a while, but my army is large enough to be impervious to whatever forces he's, he's going to siege up here now, isn't he? Erg. Okay, I don't want to assault. I want to break off part of the army. New unit. It's a dragging thing now, huh? I want to make it big enough that I don't have to risk them getting wiped out by, you know, a couple of armies that march together. Uh, that should be enough. Okay, select them. You guys march back up here. Ugh, aggravation. 
Okay, these guys are still marching together to take out these smaller armies down here. You are still sieging here. I'm going to play till the end of the year. And what the hell is this? Oh, really? Dear brother-in-law, says King Orson of France, Blessings upon you and your house. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against King John of England. Declining would cost us 25 prestige. If we accept, we'll be part of the French-English de jure war over Orléans. I am going to decline because it's only 25 prestige, and I have two wars of my own going on here, so... Tough. Bub. Okay, um... Still gotta convince... Dietmar to... Boy. What the hell? God damn! Word has reached me that an ambitious adventurer, Tenrivermus, is gathering men for some sort of attack on my territory. I think of assassins. Yeah, you know what? This happened once a long time ago, and it ended up being like 500 dudes. Just like that. It was no, nothing. Yeah, bring it. Okay. Uh, I'm worried about this. Worried about that. Maybe I should try giving Thietmar an actual gift, huh? Get him to back off a little bit. Make him a noble? Maybe that'll get him to vote for my heir? Convince him to vote against his own interests, perhaps? It's worth a shot. Okay, here goes. Oh my god. Yes, be merciful. Okay. Destroy the men. Powerful charge tactic. Force back. What the hell? What is this? Huh? Oh, King Sylvester of Croatia. Okay, I was thinking it was King Sylvester of S Sicily. I'm like, how can I call in King Sylvester against King Sylvester? That's crazy. Um, I don't know why I suddenly have the option to do this again, but sure. He's going to say no, of course, but... Victory in the Battle of Compiègne. Very nice. Why don't you march back down here, then, and help with the siege? I'm not going to combine them, though, so that in the event that I need to, I can... separate them again and send a force up to Mio to... Uh, prevent future sieges. Dear brother-in-law, may wisdom ever elude you. We can unfortunately not join your wars at this time. Okay, we're about halfway done with that siege. This army is amassed. Yes, is that it? There was nobody else marching down here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. I'm marching there and relieve that siege. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be close. Marshal Duke Zavis told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief that this would improve the military. Hmm... Um, you know, I'm ambitious, but I don't think that's enough. I'm going to say this is going to be an arbitrary decision. I will say 1 through 3, it's not worth it. 4 through 6, adopt the marshal's ideas. 
It is a six. We'll adopt the marshal's ideas. Huzzah! Now, I don't think I'm going to get... No, I'm definitely not going to get there before the end of the year, so we'll have to fight that battle next time, because we're auto-saving and ending... Uh-oh, something was just finished. Castle Town has been built in Bar Duke. Auto-saving and ending the game, the play session, right here. Ah, of course. Another army right up there. Alright, then. Let's get these guys. Schedule them to march back up there, and then next time we'll pick it up here. So, we have a war against Sicily because Sicily told us to pound sand when we found out that he was trying to fabricate a claim on Foggia. And we have a war against Aquitaine for our holding in Paris, which is actually Mew. Um... And we're fighting off his little piddly armies while we try to siege territory in his holdings to bump up the war score. So the war score right now is... Yeah, largely due to the Battle of Compiègne, honestly. And the war score in Sicily is... Not so hotsy tatsy Got a very good bonus for the Battle of Avellino, but the rebels still control all their holdings. That won't last too long... We'll start taking them here gradually. But it will be a bit of a, a long war. Ooh, Croatia's getting eaten up a little bit. Byzantines are moving in. Um, right. England's uh, civil war looks to be over. Oh, nope, there's a... Cornwall revolt. Oh, there's another... No, oh, there's... there's something here, but it doesn't show it is in revolt. I'm confused. Well, otherwise the Isles look the same. England's holdings in France are strong. France itself is still little piddly France. Aquitaine is still a force. I, was able, I wasn't able, was able to sneak away with Toulouse before my um... Claimant died. Gaucher. Portugal, Galicia, and Leon about the same. Almoravids, Riyadids, Mali, Fatimids, that all looks the same. Uh, ooh, the Fatimids look like maybe they're expanding east a little bit there. Seleuks still hanging on here and there. Ilkhanate still a force. Golden Horde still not doing jack shit. That seems new. I think that's new. I wasn't there before. Uh, don't really care about India. It's so far away. Otherwise, not much has changed. Denmark looks a little bit bigger. And something's going on up here. Oh, that's Lithuania. It looked like it was in revolt. It looked like Poland was in revolt. But no. And the Byzantines are inching in on Croatia, which is what I get for ignoring Croatia all this time. Pretty soon I'm going to have the Byzantines all along the southeast border. At this rate, Croatia won't exist much longer. So, optimistically, if in the next play session we can end this war in Sicily and the war for the holding in Paris, uh, then we'll probably start looking at declaring war on the Byzantines for Nitra... Zolan and Lucania? We'll see. But that's what my sights are set on for now. Uh, so, until next time, everyone, take care. I hope you're still enjoying it. And long live House Chatenois. Oh, and we'll have to sort out the Middle Francia thing. I hope that sorts itself out, but we'll deal with it later. Alright, thanks, everyone. Take care. <laughs>